I'll be on the road now, doing show now. White bitch not that cold now, I tell her no now. Mommy tell me slow down, I'm on a roll now. What's good, y'all? It's your boy JPM. We are back with another video. I got a cut, yes sir. We are back with another video. This time, this video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my boy Martinez and also this is just an extension video of my last video so Let's break down what happened in the last video then we're gonna go into this new video so Last video we talked about how to how to get a girl without the perfect physique Be in the gym Be improving yourself all around And be confident sometimes you gotta say some crazy stuff you know what i'm saying and you gotta you gotta be social right you gotta have these little things anyways so some some guys out there you know what i'm saying you guys watch it you guys might have those things but at the same time you're like i have those things it doesn't work so let's go step by step and break down how to approach a girl and follow up with the date so let's go into it right now Let's talk about how to approach a girl before we get to the fall of the date. The fall of the date, we'll, figure, we'll talk about that now. So, first things first, this is what you should do when you're going to approach a girl. You know what I'm saying? Online is a little bit different. I'm talking. I'm talking about real life. This is real life. It's 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 a little bit. It's not. I, I don't know if it's easier, but I'd say it is easier because. It's you know what I'm saying you can't really you know, you can't be left on red in real life like they can just keep walking like they can just, 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 just keep walking and leave your ass you know what I'm saying so you can be left on red in real life too but it's a little bit more like oh no it's okay I'm fine right so number one number one before you approach any girl you better be ready for rejection as a man out there who's been rejected himself you have to be ready for rejection. What does that mean? No, 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 I'm not interested. I have a boyfriend. Whatever the case may be, all the BS she might give you. Just in general, just remember, don't take it as anything. She doesn't find you attractive. So be ready for rejection. And number two, in the first seven seconds they will know if the girl will know if she's attracted to you or not so don't be mad why she said no don't be mad why she walked away just understand she might not be attracted to you doesn't matter if you have the perfect physique or not if she doesn't want to talk to you, she doesn't want to talk to you. Remember, there could be multiple reasons. Maybe something bad happened today. Something bad happened during her day today. She's not in the mood to talk. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, you know what I'm saying? She opened the door for someone. They didn't say thank you and that made her mad. Any, with a woman, any little trigger, you tiny, tiny. little trigger will make her just not want to speak so you have to understand how women work it's not you it's them that's what they're going through they got something to remember they're very emotional their emotions are like this man it's it can flicker like ours is guys it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know give us a little bit of time then we can flick it on but with women it's like this man so you gotta understand don't be mad don't be mad at them don't be mad you know what i'm saying understand this the three things you must understand number one take rejection take it take it it's good for you because at the end of the day if a person's rejecting you, you probably don't want to be with them anyway because they don't want to be around you. So it's okay. Number two. Number two. 
understand that in the first seven seconds she gonna know if she's attracted to you if she wants to sleep with you and all the other stuff you know go on a date hang out we spend time with you you know what i'm saying all, she knows in the first seven seconds she already knows just like how we know we see a hot chick on the road we already know oh yeah that's that's the one you know what i'm saying it's the same thing with them they see us ah, i know my type you know what i'm saying so if you see an ugly girl on the road they're like oh no nah, i don't know you know, and they see you ugly on the road, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're ugly, but if she thinks you're ugly, it is what it is, right? So keep on moving. And number three, anything can trigger her emotions. So don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at her. Understand it. That's just how we are. It is what it is. So after you get those three things understand those three things and remember you have to go you're gonna experience these three things consistently obviously until you find that proper woman who's not giving those threat problems right so number one so don't understand those three things so now when you're approaching a woman, first things first you need to do some practice runs you know what i'm saying if you are a man who goes to the gym right the first thing you went to the gym was your body in pain you were aching right that means that you need to consistently go to the gym and then after you will not feel no body pains after your workout you will feel pain a little bit of pain maybe a little bit you don't feel that as much right because you understand how it works your body's into it you're into it. its emotion you're into it you know what i'm saying you're into it you're into the wave that's the same thing with approaching women, talking to people in general. If you if you sit in your house all day and you don't talk to no one, and you try to go talk to someone on the road, you're not gonna want to talk to them. Maybe the cashier, because remember, the only reason why you can talk to cashiers and stuff like that is because you're getting something. So you need to talk. You have to talk to them. So the people that say, "Oh, go talk to the cashier, say hi to the cashier, go say hi to people on the like, bro," that stuff does not work. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, it does not work. Say hi to the cashier, talking to the cashier, how's your day today? Yeah, it can, it can help, but it's not gonna work when you really wanna you wanna approach that girl. And it's not, it's just two different, it's two different things. You can still do it, still talk to the cashier when the purchase and something, still do that type of stuff to release that anxiety. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna really work when you go in, when you see that girl and you try to go talk to that girl, it's not gonna work, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be shaking. Go mentally deranged, yeah? Go brainless, yeah? Go wacky. Go positively bonkers, yeah? Go mad, bruv. Lose your marbles, yeah? Go fool. Guys, out there, not for me. I'm just giving you advice what to do. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, goddamn, the lighting. Goddamn. Anyways, um, let me show my camera up a bit. So, so go up, go up to women. Go up to women. And. Say hello, hi, how are you? Introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Jordan, what's your name? Da da da, introduce yourself, right? Do whatever, do whatever you have to do, right? To get your practice. Remember, even if you get rejected, it's gonna be good, right? Go up to, this is what I recommend for guys who are just starting off. Go up to at least 10 women, 10 women. Hi, how are you doing today? Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Sorry. Go to at least ten women. Say hi. How are you doing today? What's your name? Oh, your name is your name is Jezebel. Okay, my name huh, Jezebel. <laughs> Get it? Uh, my name Je Oh, my name Jordan. Nice to meet you. Shake the hand. Shake the hand. Stretch out your hand. Sign of uh, respect. Shake your hand and say, you know what I'm saying? Oh, how's everything going today? How's your day going? Oh, it's going well. Oh, I see those bags in your hand. I see your bag from Aldo. Oh, what did you buy? Oh, you're a fan of Aldo. Why do you like all this so much? Why don't you go to guess? You know, what's wrong with guess? You know, give them ideas. You know, oh, I don't like guess. I don't like guess. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't like guess. Where were you born? Are you born here? Oh, that's the reason why you don't like guess. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's your background? Oh, oh, you're Haitian. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of Haitian. I thought Haitians like guess. You know, you know, you can talk about anything. You know, I wouldn't say do that exactly. I'll tell you what to do. I'm just saying this example, right? Just questions on questions. Oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica, right? Oh, I'm from Jamaica. Oh, okay. How's Jamaica? What's the last time you've been out there? How's the food? How's the people? 
know what I'm saying? Oh, what's the best time to go to Jamaica? Da -da. You can just talk about Jamaica, ask some questions. Cause remember, you're asking me about my ethnicity, my background, you know what I'm saying? Where my heritage is, how I even look, how my face is constructed. Cause this is how a Jamaican man's face is constructed. My skin tone, every, you can ask every single question in the book, right? So it's practice runs. Remember, you just have to say, oh, okay, well, it was, it, was nice talk it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you. You're a very great person. You're a very lovely person to talk to. Thank you. All right, have a wonderful day. That's all you have to remember the practice run. So when it's a practice run, you already know in your head, you're just going to say, have a good day. So when you practice, you're going to be like, oh, okay, that was nice. And you go practice on more people. And after when you're going, oh, I see that girl. Over there. But treat it as a practice run. And be like, at the end of the conversation, whatever you say, right? I'll tell you in a second, whatever you say. Now you just simply, oh, 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 oh I was, oh, you know, you so, this is such a great conversation. Uh, I want to actually continue it. Uh, what's your number, by the way? Don't take no Instagram or anything, Snapchat, don't take it. Number only. What's your number, by the way? I don't give them my number. It's a lot of rejection, man. I don't give them my number. Oh, I'm not into, uh, you know what I'm saying? Take, oh, take, my, take my Instagram. No, I'm okay. I don't, no, I'm okay. I only take numbers. I only get numbers. You know what I'm saying? Walk away. Whatever your response will be. I'm not going to tell you to say that. I'm going to say what you're going to say. But the whole point is, number one point, this builds your confidence. Practice runs to build your confidence, right? So you got to be confident. At the end of the day, confidence first. Practice runs builds your confidence. <laughs> so after that, make a good conversation. So when you're up there, when you're up with them, for example, hi, how are you? My name is Jordan. What's your name? Oh, my name is Jezebel. Get it? Oh, nice to meet you, Jezebel. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Remember, if they're not reciprocal, if they're saying I'm doing great. And they don't even reciprocate. Oh, how are you doing today? If they, if they reciprocate, then that shows interest in the conversation. So that's amazing, right? So you already won. Now, you didn't win yet, but you know what I'm saying? You have a good, you know, because most, most women, when you go approach them, man, they're not going to say that, man. You know what I'm saying? And if they do, you know what I'm saying? And if they do, you know what I'm saying? They're so enough to show respect, too. So you got to be aware of that, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean they're interested or anything. But... So, after that, after you say, hi, how are you? Introduce yourself. How's your day going? It's always a good start. How's your day going? You know what I'm saying? Show some interest in something. How's your, how's your day going? Oh, and they ask you, how's your day going? Oh, oh. and you, you know what I'm saying? You say something to yourself. Ah, I came to you because I saw, you know what I'm saying? I saw your shoes and it was intriguing. You know, you got to be different. Like, remember, we're approaching as a guy without the perfect physique. So, you know what I'm saying? You could say anything. I was like, I like your aesthetic. I like your outfit. How you how you put yourself together. Like, oh, thank you. thank you so much. Oh, where do you usually go shopping? Since you're in the mall today, where do you usually go shopping for your clothes? Damn. Oh, I usually go here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. I see your hipster type of vibe. You know, hipster type of style. You know, I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? How old are you, by the way? I'm 25, I'm 22, I'm 30, whatever age they say, right? Because that's obviously, make sure it's above the age of 18, 19, please, guys. Make sure it's above certain age threshold, man. I know some of you guys trying to be EDP, man. We can't do no EDP, man. We can't do that. So, after that, what you want to do is this, right? What you want to do is this. Last them their age, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what month were you born in? Okay, okay, you born around that time, okay. Oh, you're a summer, okay, you're a summer baby, okay, so you like to be outside then, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you like to be outside then. Oh, I know you like to be outside, god damn, you know what I'm saying? Stay in the house, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta crack jokes on them, you know, make fun of them, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff, right? Introduce yourself a little bit. Oh, you like to be outside then. Okay, well, you're almost as cute as me, so I guess you're outside. You're like, what? Almost as cute as me? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta take, remember, females, egos all the way up here, so you gotta bring it down a little bit, man. You gotta bring it down because at the end of the day, it's gonna get boosted back up the next morning. So, 
now. God damn, my hair got clean as hell. Shout out to my barber. But, so, after you made the good conversation, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's overall making a good conversation. You can't really copy my format and how I do it. You have to create your own format. That's what I realized. You can take a pickup line for something like, for example, I got it from the Fresh and Fit podcast. Shout out to them. Shout out to my own games. He said, you know what I'm saying? You're almost as cute as me. You know, you can go up to them. Hi. Hey. Hey, you're almost as cute as me. What's your name? Like, what? Why? What? You know what I'm saying? I use that. You know what I'm saying? It's a good line. You could use that, but there's you gotta create your own form of conversation style slash game right create your own form of style i can't create it for you you have to create your own form of style you can take pieces from people but you can't create you can't like take someone else's style and replicate it some people do it but it's not optimal you have to do it for your own style your own characteristic because they're gonna be like oh this guy's trying to act like somebody else that are like you can easily tell right so after that after you get the good conversation, you know, talk about your life a little bit, where you're from, you know, so what's your background, how old are you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, at the end of the day, to treat not a federal investigation, you know what I'm saying? Someone might say, God damn, God damn, are you a federal agent? You gotta be like, yes, I am. I gotta know who I'm talking to. You gotta know your little comebacks every time, right? So after that, you gotta go in wanting nothing. The karma, as I said, this is why I told you to do the practice run from the beginning. Because when you do the practice run, right? When you do those practice runs, see how in the practice run you didn't expect anything? That's the whole point why I wanted you to do it. Because when you do it, now when you're going to the real situation, you don't expect anything to treat it like a practice run. But it's not. Obviously, you're going to ask her. Well, well, I know you're busy. I'm busy as well. I would like to get your number so we can continue this conversation. Maybe we can go out. You know, not even maybe. That's my fault. You know what I'm saying? If it slips off the tongue, it slips off the tongue. I always say, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is a good conversation. I'd like to continue it. You know, I want to take you out. What's your number? I want to. The difference between maybe we should or I want to is a different. With women in their brain, it's different. Don't ask me. It's just different. So... I like to continue this conversation or whatever you're talking about or whatever you transition over to. I wanna take I wanna take you out. I wanna take you out, what's your number? Bam, you instantly tell her already you wanna take her out. And then now, you know what I'm saying? If it works, if it works, she gives you a number, cool. You wait a day or two, you know what I'm saying? You can do it the next day, you can do it the day after, two days. Don't wait too long, don't be waiting like a week, three weeks texting, cause like yo. Remember, another guy could be, another guy could be approaching her, right? And if another guy comes to her and gets her number the same day and takes her out the same day, you know what I'm saying? You lost. You already lost. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a game. It's like a competition. You gotta, you gotta kind of, you know what I'm saying? Be in there already. Be in there. Be in there. Right? So after that, what you want to do is this: if you get a number. If you don't get a number, it's a numbers game. You're gonna be doing this a while. If you're in the mall, if you're on the road, you know, say if you're in an event, if you're at, you know, what I'm saying for guys in school, college, high school, middle school, whoever, God damn, watch this. It's all the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Best thing to do is when you're approaching is to ask if they have bags in their hand or if they're in the mall, if they're in school, whatever. Talk about things relating to that because that's on their mind. Because at the end of the day, if you're in the mall, she's in the mall for a reason, right? You're looking for something, you're doing something in the mall. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's not mindlessly just walking around the mall, you know what I'm saying? And also, when you're going out to go approach a woman, make sure, if you're going to the mall, right? Make sure you're not just going to the mall to approach a woman. Make sure you're going to the mall. Oh, I want to buy something. Maybe I want to browse. Maybe I'm trying to buy a new charger. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fix my phone. Make sure you have a purpose of why you're being there. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just solely just focus on that, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to solely focus on that, it is what it is too. No one really cares. They ain't gonna know either. So after that, let's say you get the number. Let's transition over to how to follow up on the date. You know what I'm saying? So this is a crucial, crucial part of everything. So how to follow up on the date after you get her number. So uh I mean, the video took a little bit too long, so you know what I'm saying? Should I make that in the next video tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? Because 
At the end of the day, just approach that thing and try to get the number, bro. Most people don't even, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get past this part before you can even get to the date. You know what I'm saying? What I can say is this. All I can say is this. When you get the number and you text her, try to set up that FaceTime call. If you have an iPhone, try to set up a phone call, FaceTime call. Because at the end of the day, talking, or well, remember, text message gets confusing. So when you talk and say it, very clear so next video we'll be talking about how to follow up on the date after you get her number anyways that's your boy jp and hopefully you like this video how to approach and remember it's not going to be easy guys practice 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 and remember you're going to fail majority of the time unless unless you get really nice luck you know what i'm saying but you know what I'm saying? unless unless you know what I'm saying? this is this is for the guys who don't have the perfect physique even with a perfect physique even with a millionaire Bro, you can still get rejected. Trust me, so it don't matter. So be ready for that rejection. Practice runs, you know what I'm saying? And remember, first seven seconds, she gonna know what she wanna do with you. So take all those points down, keep it in your brain, go out there, do practice runs, do 10, 15, 20, 30, even you can do 100 if you want to, if you're not that comfortable. But you gotta do it. That's that's the hardest part that I left out is you gotta force yourself to do it. Even if you're scared, you gotta do it scared. You have to. If you don't do it, man, man, get the fuck out of the video, man. Damn. Anyways, guys, your boy JPN. We're out. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Let's go.